Hey there guys, welcome to another How to Draw Football tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be drawing the Arsenal badge today. Uh, Arsenal are a Premier League team in the English Premier League um, and they've got a very iconic badge with some uh, iconic uh, lettering. So I'm going to start by just placing a couple of dots down. Uh, this, this badge is, uh, it looks almost like a shield. So what we're going to have is we're going to have some lines coming down and around and then one across the top. So I'm going to move the paper around a little bit just to get these right. I'm using a black Sharpie pen as always. If this is your first video um, that you've watched of mine in the series, thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. Click the notifications button and uh, you'll be notified of all of the new content that I try and get out there. I'm trying to do daily videos at the moment. So I've done various different series. I've done uh, cartoon characters uh, such as Pokemon and Transformers, uh, Marvel superheroes. So check them out if that's something that interests you. Uh, but I'm also I've also been doing a lot of uh, pencil graphite work. So I'm just moving this page around now. So this line is going to come up and it's going to arc around to this dot that I've laid out. So yeah, so I, I actually started off by doing graphite work. So I still do graphite work. The issue with that is uh, it takes me about 20 to 30 hours to, to complete a drawing, um, which means that I'm not able to upload to YouTube as often as I would like. So as a, uh, as a side sort of venture, I started doing some cartoon work, which, uh, which has worked out really well. It's really enjoyable doing it. Uh, I'm, ha I'm having some great ideas sent to me through the community, through the, the comments uh, and on my Facebook page. You can also get hold of me on the website which I've recently built. That's called ihowtodraw.com. That's the letter I, howtodraw.com. Uh, and there's some, there's some great pages on there where you can share your work. Dead easy just to quickly upload a picture of yours. Uh, it doesn't matter what you've drawn, whether it's something... Uh, from the tutorials or something on the website. I'd love to see them. So we've got the general shape there now. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to come around on the inside of this, so almost the same shape, uh, but it's going to be like I say, it's going to be inside uh, of this. So I'm going to put my three dots out again just so that I know where I'm going to. And the trick here is to try and keep the distance the same between the line that I've already drawn and the line that I'm drawing all the way around. If you manage to do that, it just gives it a slightly more professional look. If I was going to be doing this um, for somebody or I wanted to try and make it as, as accurate as possible, uh, what I would do is I'd probably measure this out. Um, for things like circles, I'd use a compass, but I'm doing this freehand. Uh, I think it's a, it's a good habit to get into trying to learn to do things freehand. And obviously this doesn't, um, this isn't going up on display anywhere. This is really just to show you the basics of, of how I would go about drawing this. And also for some of you that haven't seen the Arsenal badge before, it just gives you an opportunity to see uh, this wonderful uh, iconic badge. I think this is around about my fourth or fifth of the series that I've done now. So if you've not seen the rest of my um, football badge series, go and check it out. I've done the Manchester United badge. I've done the Manchester City badge. I've done a Nottingham Forest badge. Um, that's, a, that's a very iconic badge. Very different to any of the badges that I've, I've done or even seen. Uh, I've also done the Premier League uh, logo and I've done Barcelona FC. Okay, so there we go, it's looking okay. Don't, don't worry if your lines aren't quite straight here. We're gonna mark this out all, all in black. So the Arsenal flag, um, or the Arsenal badge, what we have now is in the center we've got a uh, what looks like a gun, it's a cannon. So we're going to start with that and we've gotta be very careful in certain areas because um, the detail is, it's actually the areas that we're not going to draw. So we're going to leave some parts of the page white, as you'll see in a second. So we've got um, 
the back part of this cannon. So Arsenal's nickname are the Gunners, um, which I guess is why they've got a cannon on their on their badge. So that's the back part of the cannon there. And let's have a look at getting this front part in. Once I've got this section in there, then we can see where the wheel's going to fit. So we've got a very straight line coming across the top here, which connects to that. We've got an arced line there, and then this is kind of straight. It's, it's straight, but it's slightly angled up. Okay, hope you can see that. So in the centre of the of the wheel, we have a black part there. So let's draw this circle now. As I draw this circle, I'm going to be very, very careful as to not touch the other parts that I've drawn. I'm okay coming around here, but it's when I get close to the other the other sections that I need to be very careful. As you can see, I'm moving the paper to try and get this circle as accurate as I can. If you want to use a compass or something like that, absolutely go for it. I just always find it really refreshing to see people on YouTube uh, or people drawing in general uh, just doing it freehand. You see the imperfections that they've got. Nobody draws anything absolutely perfectly. There's no such thing as perfect. So as I'm coming around here, I'm just gonna make sure that I don't touch this edge. There. Okay. So what we have now is we have some, uh, I guess they're spokes. Just making sure that they're going out at the right angle and they're all the same length. This is a very uh, iconic badge. Uh, I've not drawn this one before. Lots of straight lines on this badge. I think that the the part that gives the Arsenal badge its its real look uh, it's very recognisable. Look is the lettering, which we'll come onto at the top. It says Arsenal across the top there. Um, what I found with most football badges is their lettering is quite generic. It's usually capital block capital letters, uh, but with this one and with the Nottingham Forest badge that I did, uh, they do actually use lowercase letters as well. We've got some very, very close details in here. As you'll see when I block the majority of it out, these little white sections that I'm leaving are there for a purpose. The thing with these Sharpie pens, which I'm using, this is a Sharpie pen, uh, is they do bleed a little bit. Uh, on this type of paper. This is just normal copy paper that I'm using. I'm not using an expensive paper um, for this. Uh, when I do my graphite drawings, I do use a um, much more expensive paper, much thicker paper. I use a Strathmore Bristol. Uh, there's a link to that in the descriptions down below if you, uh, if you want to look for a quality paper that you can use um, to do your 
uh, pencil work with. And we've got one small section in here, which I believe is the bottom of this gun. As we're looking at it through the through the wheel. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go for the Arsenal lettering now, which comes across the top here. So if I'm going to start with the E, because because the E is central, uh, it's right across, it's right above this. Um, the wheel of the gun, and if I get the centre part, the central letter right, it it makes it much easier for me to. get the other letters in the right place. So there's the E. Okay, let's make sure I get the S in the right place then. Trying to keep these lines as smooth as possible. I am going to be blocking these out uh, in black making sure when you're doing any lettering that you do get all of the letters in and you don't miss any out. Um, I've done some drawings in the past where I've been so focused on something that I've missed a letter out or I've got a letter in the wrong place. Uh, I've seen some horror stories of people getting tattoos where the tattoo artist has, has made a mistake and, and that's there forever unfortunately. At least with this, if I do make a mistake, I've... Uh, I've only wasted a sheet of paper. And so like I said, this uh this Arsenal badges consists of upper and lower case letters. Uh, a lot of the football badges that I've been doing uh, actually use just capital letters. So the N now comes in close to this A here. I'm not sure what this font is called. I'm sure it's got a name. Uh, maybe somebody out there knows what it is. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if there's a football team or a football badge that you'd like me to draw, then drop me a comment. Uh, I'll endeavor to, to have a go at as many of them as I can. I'm enjoying learning a little bit about why certain badges appear the way that they are. And then we've just got an L, which is the same height as the A. There's a slight slant to it. There we go. And then just to finish off now, what we've got is we've got two lines that come around and curve around and, and meet at the bottom here, one on this side and one on this side. So just making sure that I'm getting it in the right place. And I'm really trying to make sure that I keep this pen moving so it misses the back of the gun. It comes across here. And meets at the bottom there and then we're going to do the same here be very careful with these sharpie pens they are a permanent marker and they won't come out easily if you get them on your skin or on your clothes okay fab so what I'm going to do is I'm going to block out some areas now. I'm going to time lapse that, so I'll see you um, once that's complete. Okay, so there we have it, guys. That's the Arsenal badge. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you give it a go. 
Uh, don't forget to subscribe, find me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter or check me out on the website which is ihowtodraw.com. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hit subscribe, smack the notification button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.